In this video, we're going to take a look at how to draw another type of line called a path. We've seen how GeoMLine connects data points from left to right by first sorting the X aesthetics. Sometimes the order of the data points is important, for example when tracking the movement of an object in the plane through time. For this, we need to use GeoMPath, which we look at in this video. GeoMPath works in a very similar fashion as GeoMLine but connects the data points in the order in which they are presented in the data frame, so there's no sorting going on. Open Activity 0202 in RStudio. Run the first few lines in the console until Head Migratory Zebras. The data contain the location of six zebras over a period of time in northern Botswana. Run the rest of the code in the console. GeomPath will connect each data point with a line in the order they appear in data frame migratory zebras, whose rows already been sorted by time. Each zebra is associated with different color thanks to the aesthetics color. You can see the meandering routes of zebras have taken over a period of time. Using GeomLine instead of GeomPath would not be appropriate in this context. P plus GeomLine first sorts the data points by latitude because it is mapped to the aesthetics X, which is nonsensical. Zebra can go back and forth the same latitude at different points in time. We know now how to draw lines and paths using GeomLine and GeomPath, depending on the station we're in. In the next video, we will see how to make bar charts.